Register six. All right, how's it going, everyone? K Mills here, punishing my body today with some hot coffee after some wings that I heated up. We're gonna have a very burpy video today as we play some more Dead Rising. Last time. Oh, this elevator's still full of zombos, huh? Ah, uh, last time. <laughs> I forgot to grab food. Uh, jeez. Last time, Brad got shot. I had a big sniper showdown with Sniper Bra uh, Sniper Carlos. Uh, Jesus. And uh, his, not, his name is not Jesus. His name is Carlito. Um, anyway. <laughs> we had a big sniper showdown, and now... We have to get some medicine for Brad, because he got shot in the leg! And for some reason, he can't simply drink- God! Fucking zombies. He can't just drink some orange juice, he has to get real medicine for his leg. So, we're gonna have to do something about that after I take this annoying call from Otis that has been interrupted many, many times. There's people in a shoe store. I'm gonna have to go help them with their couple's problems, perhaps. Oh, that sounds exciting. Um, we have a lot of things that have to happen, all in very quick succession, and I just don't think I'm able to do all of them, um, you know, at the same time here. They're, they're all yellow, they're all gonna end very soon, and I am going to prioritize... Uh, taking care of Brad, because that will advance the story, and the other things will not. Uh, I know... Well, I don't know, but I am pretty sure that the Wonderland Plaza thing uh, that I'm missing out on opens up a shortcut, which is gonna be a bummer. But I'm pretty sure that's, like, I have to do that every time anyway? I don't know. Uh, let's see something here. Yeah, look at that! There is no... More prison men. Last time we were in this game, <clears throat> I had noticed that the prison men had come back, even though I had killed all of them. And I think that was because I never commandeered their vehicle. Thus, you know, officiating my victory over them. What is this arrow doing? Holy cow. Uh, jeez. Uh, to be a little economical on time here, I might just cut to when I'm in this medicine store, or whatever the hell is going on here. Man, I feel like I'm going the very wrong way right now to get this medicine here. I'm going for like, construction zone zone? Am I really going the right way? Yeah, I am. Oh, no. I have to do this? I forgot that I have to do the grocery store. You know, this... Oh, man, I am just realizing this might mark, um... An instance where I'm going to have to replay uh, the game to better allocate my time. I think I should have come here and done this, maybe, or something. I'm, I'm beginning to suspect that I might have messed up, and I might have to, I might have to replay the campaign. You know, I might have to do another a loop, as it were, uh, or maybe not. Because I thought I was going to get a cutscene here and have to fight a psychopath, but do I not have to do that now? Maybe I don't. Okay, never mind, I guess. Oh no, here it comes, never mind. Horror cart. Horror shopping cart. Let me have my coffee. It's going to upset my stomach greatly. Oh, that's thin. That's thin, horrible coffee. Ooh, this is not sponsored coffee. This is bad coffee. Coffee that's been on the pot all day. <laughs> Frank, there's something creepy going on in here. What is it? A shopping cart and cooking oil and yogurt. What a conspiracy. Whoa, that was pretty spooky. Pretty spooky grocery store we got going on here. Soft breadcrumbs. Now we're getting into the real horror of Dead Rising. Dry breadcrumbs. Oh, jeez. Oh, dude, it's the can from the Chef Boyardee commercials. You guys remember. Right? Uh, uh hi there. Yeah? 
Yeah, I forgot this is actually part of the story because of this chick. Hi there, friend. Oh, I'm sorry. You came to vandalize my store. No, I just want some of that rock salt and mineral salt. Okay. Someone's been hurt. I need medicine. Hurt! That's just what this bitch said. Uh oh. He doesn't believe anyone gets hurt ever. I don't take kindly. Dude, his teeth are so straight. They're so straight. They're terrifying. Listen to me. And listen good, partner. Partner. Don't allow vandalism in my store. Okay. That's fine. Uh, yeah. All right. Wow, this guy is Oh, jeez. Yeah, you're carrying a machete? Yeah, we're not doing that. Okay. Okay, I need to figure out... Oh, he's got a shotgun. Okay, that complicates things a little bit. Ow. Hey, friend, can you not be shooting that at me? Thanks. Oh, boy. Wow, this is some... Soundtrack for Mr. Breadman here. Uh, you don't see me right here, which is very fortunate for me. I'm gonna grab two of these baguettes here. If I can aim at the spot to do it on. Holy moly! I need to get behind you, which is going to prove to be a challenge. Because you are quite mobile with that card. Here we go, I'm behind you now. Oh, damn. I'm gonna get juggled here. I'm gonna get juggled here. Oh my god, what was that move? He did a move. It was like a pee pee move. Which is a horrible way to describe that. Man, I am just. I am so gonna run out of time here. This is gonna be a real bad situation in a second. I got this music is almost definitely copyrighted, also. I would just like to, uh. I would just like to point that out. There's no way this music is not copyrighted. Okay, well, we're making some good progress on his health, though. Oh, get me out of here. Uh. Oh, he's reloading with stock sounds. Time to kill him. Okay, this guy is not as much of a problem as I thought he was going to be. Okay, you need to stop doing that, though, mister. I need to get away from you for just a second and eat my yogurt. Okay. You're dead. Goodbye. Wow. That was a fun time there. I hope I don't have to mute that audio. We'll find out. My beautiful store. Yeah, I love this cutscene. This is great. Who will run my store when I'm gone? This guy just cares about his store, man. My store. He's such a good grocery store guy. My food. <laughs> My sales. There's passion here. This guy's I... stealing the show. Customers. Oh. Damn. This is tragedy. This is the Have real. Nice day. This is the real hubris. Being shown off in the storytelling of this uh, of this game. Six. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I'm doing pretty good on energy considering I didn't sleep last night because uh, my computer was shitting out when I was trying to render the extermination episode, and I had to I had to re-render the whole thing, and that sucked. Hey, it's a lady. Frank's like, what is that? A lady. Oh, that lady I saw. He's like, no. Land of the living. One tough cookie. I mean, she was just in a shopping cart. She's fine. Ah. Look, I uh, I saw you at the entrance yesterday. <laughs> what the fuck? Too. Maybe we should work together. I don't need any help. You people don't know a thing. E tables back there. You're the ones who caused this nightmare. Talking about you ruined Santa Cabeza and started all this. Lady, what are you talking about? I'm a photographer. I'm a journalist. What? 
Don't go to the vegetables. No. Ah, oh, damn. She's going to the vegetables. But I get a key. What's the key to? I got a key to the pharmacy. Yeah. Now I got speed up. Oh, that's really sexy. Um, um, I guess I have to go all the way around through the store here to get to the pharmacy. That's a pretty fun little detour there. I don't suppose they could have just had a door next to the pharmacy, huh? Would have been a bit too easy. I got the first aid kit. Now nah, we're going to go back. All the way back through the store. Through the hallway. Staff only. I need the maintenance tunnel key to open that. Yeah, that is a item that we just do not have right now and will not have for a while. And I'm pretty sure I have to reobtain it every time uh, that I want to do things. Like, that's how they do the things with these games is that, you know, there's certain access items that you get that, um... You can't, uh, hold on, let me see something here. There's, there's gotta be a quicker way to get back to Paradise Plaza. Not really. Not really. Man, I sure do hope that I don't run out of time on my way back there. I mean, I got the speed up zone, so I'm doing pretty good on speed right now. I'm just very concerned about my time here. Brad's gonna be a death sandwich in a second if I don't get back there with his uh, his anti-bullet medicine. You know, I gotta be careful here. Let's have Frank take a little wee-wee, though, just to be safe, because, you know, then I can, you know, I don't know. Saving here is not really gonna do much for me, uh, honestly. Yeah, I can't go up. I know there's certain shortcuts in mirrors or something, but I just, I, I think that's in Wonderland Plaza, and I think I have to do the psychopath there to do that. And I'm not going to do that, because I just don't have time. I do not know how you're supposed to have time for all this stuff. Unless I've just been being a real idiot with my time, which is highly possible. I have not been treating this game seriously. And uh, maybe I'm being punished for my you know, my blasé attitude towards this game's tight time frame. I know if you want to do everything, it's a pain in the ass. I, uh, back when I was streaming Dead Rising 2, in my off time with that game, I was attempting to do some achievement stuff. Uh, one of which being saving every single survivor. I heard someone crying somewhere. Too bad for them. They're not going to get rescued. Uh, saving every single survivor uh, in one gameplay loop, which is absolute horror. What is over there? Something? Maybe nothing. Think something for later. I'm not going to be exploring right now. Uh, yeah, it's, it is hell to try to, like, do absolutely everything in one loop of this game. That's kind of why it's structured the way it is, so you can do different things on different runs through the game or whatever. Someone in the home garden shop. It was a man. Well, guess what? I'm not helping them. I gotta help Brad not bleed all of his blood out of his leg hole, okay? That's my pressing issue right now. Otis. God, man, I swear. This Otis guy, he's, I, he's got his heart's in the right place with trying to help me save people from this deadly mall full of deadly zombies and deadly prices. But I, I can't, I can't, I can't be everywhere at once. I don't have the power. I'm only level whatever the hell I am. Maybe if I was a little stronger in the Frank West department, I might be able to do all of the things forever and save everybody and be the ultimate man. But I just, I am not that. This game does not come with all of the fun conveniences that the later entries have, like... Uh, uh, earlier quick travel stuff and better weapons and things like that, man. I am limited in my weapons. I forgot how, like, ramshackle the weapon loadout in this first game is. It's pretty doo-doo. You get, you get combo weapons in the second game pretty quick. Here's your medicine. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Case 3 isn't until 11 a.m., but... 
what time is it now? Like, it's nine. Like, I don't really have anything I can do right now. Like, I can attempt to go to Wonderland Plaza, right? I could attempt to go there if I... Yeah, Paradise Plaza, I come out here. I would have to get to Wonderland Plaza, which I have to go across to the food court and then in there to do that event. And then, like, I just... I do not have the time for that. I just don't. I just simply don't. I'm just gonna have to hang out here and sit until 11. Um... Because I don't want to miss this. I don't want to miss the next story thing. It's going to suck if I do that. And it's like, you can't, you know, you can't just, like, be at the places at the right times on a subsequent run through this game. That's not how it works. That's, that doesn't fly. You know, that, you will get in big ownage if you try to do that. You have to go through the sequence of events and be at the right places. So, yeah, I... Man, I'm just gonna cut to when it's 11 because I don't want to miss this and have to replay the whole game up until now again because that would just be hell. So, uh, magical video editing powers activate. Okay, I can't wait to see what kind of transition I put there. Anyway, it is time to do this story part. Check it out. Well... He's got less of the gunshot fever. He stabilized. Yeah, he should we did be fine it. For now. We stopped the gunshot fever. You Are know. You right? No. You have blood on you. Yeah, from zombies. Oh, yeah. Cause I've been killing zombies. Must be from that girl I saved. Uh oh. Was she hurt? I offered to help her, but she took off. Bitch. Can't really blame her for running from a guy with your looks. Yo, not C called for, dude. Wait, anyway, to go zero to a hundred. She was saying something about Santa Cabeza. Santa Cabeza. <gasps> I I... Uh oh. What's going on here? Doctor Burton. Oh, he's uh, right. he's not asleep. Santa Cabeza. Oh God, he's having flashbacks, dude. I have known. Oh no. I thought Santa Cabeza was over and done What with. are these hand motions? You plan to dispense justice now? Calm down, Dr. Burnaby. No. We're only following orders. We have to protect, protect you. Protect? He's freaking out, dude. Or like in prison. <gasps> Professor, if we're going to protect you, we need to know the truth. And what is the truth? Please. What happened to the, with the Come zombies? Down. What happened in the place? Are we gonna get exposition? Then we're gonna get angry old man. Is. Am I right? We're getting angry old man. That's what we're getting. <laughs> Frank, dude. Ah oh, man, my school. Fine. I'll just get my information somewhere else. Thank you very much. Yeah, bitch. Maybe if I can track down that woman again. Yeah, I mean I can see every part of the mall from everywhere here. You gotta find her somewhere, right? Surely. Uh, wow, cool. So I have time to goof off until three, but that will have to be next episode because I am so done with Dead Rising. Thanks everyone for watching. Next time we'll kill zombies and goof around and maybe save these two people very close to running out of time, but we'll see what happens. Catch you then!